Okay, here we are on step seven. Let's get started. If I can switch back. All right, step seven is simply rehearsing, uh, revising the questions and answers from step six. We are um, taking this deeper in. We, step six, we recited with the MP3. Now step seven, we're in a real world. We're going to try to start exercising our new skill with those questions and answers. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and review some things with you about our steps, how we got this far. If you recall, step one, every step is important. Step one was simply to, let me see if I can highlight it. I can't highlight it. Oh well. Uh, step one was to get the MP3 and the worksheet and review in your mind. We want to understand the story before we begin. Step two was come to class and recite. Let me see if I can get this down here so you can see it. The English lyrics with your coach. This is one of the only times you need to be with a coach. Um, only two steps are really required for you to use the system. You come to class just long enough to meet with someone to listen to your pronunciation before you practice so that we can capture the mistakes so that when you practice with the worksheet you know which words to listen to carefully. Step three, after you had sung the song or spoken it or whatever 25 times, step three is just to a self-check. You don't need me for that. Uh, step three, you're checking your memory already. You, don't, you do not need to memorize the words and the sentences, but by simply repeating and singing you will learn and have connections with these words. They will not be individual words. They will only come to you in the phrase or in the context of what you're trying to say. Let's see, step four is another step you don't need me for. Um, oops, I went past it, didn't I? Let's go back. Step four was to record yourself. This is so important because you're going to find that you can choose any song you like and with um, focused and careful application you can develop your English without other people all the time. You can be self-directing. But this is where you record yourself and you listen yourself and recircle the words that do not sound right to you. Step five, completing the exercise again. That is where we put in crazy words, any words, random words, just to, mostly nouns and adjectives, just to make other connections in our brains, that we don't make it a simple one-to-one -one, um, definition of a word, that the words are colors and they can be mixed and um, you can do a lot of things if you don't hardwire your words together. Step six, this is the only, one of the only two steps you need to come and work with a coach with because you need someone to be very critical of your pronunciation when you first start your practicing. So this is another MP3 and it's related to questions and answers. We're finally getting, because we take, took the time to slowly build our vocabulary and particularly our pronunciation and narrative or sentences that um, you would come in and work with me or somebody to listen carefully and recircle words before you practice. And then once again you would be singing, or well, in this case now speaking, the questions and answers 25 times again. Repetition is so important. Hopefully it's fun. Um, I was having fun when I made up these questions and answers. Then we're at step seven. You do not come to class for this. You find someone online or a friend who simply reads the questions and you try to give answers in a real world setting. Then you turn around and you ask the questions and you can change it up some and let them answer. Once again, it's an important step. Do not try to jump to the end. All of these will help you greatly. And finally, step to eight, come to class or go somewhere and have a free conversation with what's going on. So that was step seven plus a recap of everything. This is where we want to be. But we do want to build carefully and build well our fluent speaking, not words, not pieces, but really speaking with understanding. Thank you.